do you have awesome streamer friends who you think need to be followed by everyone but sometimes you're too busy gaming that you don't have a chance to shout them out and the mods are asleep actually maybe i need to pay my mods in some other way well today i i built something i built something that automatically shout anyone out that has streamed before and there it's about three parts i'm gonna have links to everything that you can just click on and i'll broken down by chapters but it should take you about 15 minutes to set these up and here we go <clears throat> so the the first thing that you want to do is set up a chatbot shout out command so the the shout out command a lot of people have it but the way it works is it pulls off variables from the chat so whether you lose nightbot stream elements stream labs there's a way to get user information from your chat and here's an example of my shout out command i'm going to put a link in the description with my cheat sheet for chat commands it it has the shout out command for various bots so stream elements stream labs nightbot wisebot but yeah so you create this shout out command and make sure it's a moderator only level so that not everybody can shout people out but that's the first step the second step that you're going to do is to get a shout out widget so if i did one right now <clears throat> you get this shout out widget like this on screen right now I shot at him. You dead? Nice. so <clears throat> to get that you're gonna go to which guru so twitch guru has one here it's right here shout out player free version and you just go through here you put in your username um turn off you probably don't need channel rewards max duration I, i've messed with this 30 seconds 60 seconds i usually just leave it off I also don't mute it because I like to hear when people laugh and everything. <laughs> and then you take this and you add it as a browser source. So there's a lot of tutorials out there. If you just search on OBS add browser source, <clears throat> there's ways to do this. I'm not going to go through that because you can look that up very easily. So we went over two things. So the shout out command, that's this, this one. Um, the overlay itself that pops up a random clip from someone and then the last piece is the auto shout out which is a little more tricky so we're going to use a tool called leer in board or leer, leer in board 2 is the current version of it but it's a kind of like a steam a stream deck you know the elgato product that you can touch things so i have mine right here on my phone and you can hook up a lot of things to it so we're gonna come here so if you just search google for lira and board i'll put a link in the description as well <clears throat> and then you go to the download here and you just download probably the 64 bit because ain't nobody running 32 bits anymore so 64 bit is the one you want and then that tool looks like this and the first thing you want to do and it has been uncovered to me that this this needs to happen for it to work is you want to authorize your thing so i check all these boxes so that my lyrian board can listen for all of my my twitch events but you open this url and then you're going to get this hey all good you can go back to lyrian board and what's going to happen is you're going to get this token so you see expires on 5 2022 you want to make sure that you have a token that's valid and then you also very importantly you want to click this auto connected twitch chat so i was helping other people set this up and i noticed that it wasn't working it wasn't working for my friend and this twitch chat bubble being green needs to be working for this to be working so this auto connected twitch chat is on startup of leer and board it's going to auto connect to twitch chat and then so what you're going to do is you're going to create a new deck 
you can edit it. 10 by 10 is really big, especially if you're using it on a phone. So I do something like five by five. You can give it a name. So I have my brand new deck that's a five by five. And the, the tricky thing here is creating the button that has triggers and and does the actual shout out stuff. So I created, you can export buttons as text. So I created this. You can just, you know, right click, select all or whatever, control A, copy it. Go to your Lyrium board and you can import from JSON. And then you have your <coughs> auto shout out button. So it has triggers, so it listens for every chat message. <clears throat> so as of right now, you're done. <clears throat> and uh, if I were, if someone were to come into your chat and they, they type the message and they are a streamer, it will just shout them out. And if you want to reset it, you just close the earring board and open it up. And by reset it, I mean like if you're midstream and you're like, hey, I had shouted out. A bunch of people but i want to shout out people again because you know they've been here for a long time just close the urine board and reopen it back up and then it'll reinitialize and shout people out and i'm going to explain the way that works now but if you don't really care have a good day but here we go so what happens here is i have an initialization section so this whole first initialization section is you know, if initialize is not done. And what happens is I create my user and I say, hey, I don't want to shout out my user. Hey, I don't want to shout out stream elements. Hey, I don't want to shout out stream labs. Hey, I don't want to shout out Nightbot. And I say, hey, I've been initialized. And then looking at the triggers again, so edit triggers. Um, it's listening for any Twitch chat message. So for every Twitch chat message, it's, it's analyzing something. So it's analyzing the display name and user ID, and then it's going to get the channel info for the user. And it's saying, Hey, if the user has a game, that's like my indicator for, are they a streamer? Because if they have a game, that means that they had streamed something. And then I add it to this, Hey, don't shout this people out. But if I had already seen that person, don't shout them out. Otherwise, save it. Send a Twitch chat message and say exclamation point SO sender, which is that first thing we created. The in your chat bot, stream element, stream labs. The first thing we created is SO sender. And then so that would like trigger something like this. So say Zooted came into my chat he would and he chatted it would execute one of these so it, it's sending a chat message as me through Lear and board well yeah that's basically it so again i i'm gonna have links to to all the things and remember that when you're doing this if it's not working it's probably because this twitch chat is not connected properly and the auto connect Twitch chat is probably what you need and you just close it and reopen it. But yeah, thanks. Sorry for the repost. I, I discovered some things after I made it the first time. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Um, hit me up on Discord if you have any issues. Thanks. Shoots.